Can y'all believe it? That, that actually worked. Wow. Recently, I received a comment on one of my older tutorials, but they were having trouble getting it to work. And since I made this video, Canva has made a lot of updates. It actually makes this a little bit easier. Before we get started, this is a Canva Pro feature. If you do not have Canva Pro and you want to try it for free for 30 days, I've left a link for you in the description. Let's move on to Canva so I can show you how this technique is done. I'm going to grab any size I want and I'm just going to grab a square size because it's the easiest for me. And I'm going to find a silhouette. And I actually used this one to try it out. All we need to do is we're going to make this a little bit bigger. We also need a weird abstract shape. All I did to find it was abstract shape. And then I just selected one of them. I'm going to cover up the profile. I'm going to take the little white edges here and I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to go ahead and change the color and the color that I want to change it to will be a brown. So I'm going to click the color. I'm going to type in brown. I'm just going to choose this one under Woodland Elk, which is number 473C38. Position under the Arrange tab. I'm just going to send it backwards. And next up, I'm going to change the silhouette to be the same color as the background. So I'm going to click the color, I'm going to X out of that one, and then I'm going to choose white because the background is white. And basically, I just want to make sure that my whole silhouette is within that oblong shape. So I could actually make it a little bit bigger if I wanted to. Now, we're going to download this exactly like it is. There's no transparent background that you need to do. So we're going to download this by clicking share, download. It's a PNG. Because there's a couple pages on this project, I'm going to select the page that it's on, which is page one, and download. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and open up a second page because I want you to see the whole process here. Step one, get your silhouette or whatever it is that you would like to mask and get the oblong shape around it. Step two, you're going to bring in that object. So here we go. We're bringing in this, this picture that we just created, which is this. I'm going to change the background so that you can see when I remove the background from this picture, which is why you need the Canva Pro Plan. Click the picture, edit photo, and then what we're going to do is click this tool, background remover. It removed the background and it removed that silhouette portion. Does that make sense so far? I'm going to enlarge it. I do not want it to cover up the entire background because it will take over the background. I just want to cover up as much as possible. We're going to find a picture that we would like to use. Now you can use anything. I mean, you legit can use anything you want back there. Actually, I'm going to go to one of the new features called Brand Hub. Instead of Brand Kit, it's now called Brand Hub. And I do have a photo here. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to rotate it. And I'm just going to try to get it on there. I'm going to position it and I'm going to go ahead and send it to the back. So now you can sort of see what it looks like. And you can look at it and go, oh, do I like that? Do I not like that? Do I want to make it a little bigger so that, and then I go, uh, I don't really, let's, let's try something else, right? Try and just look that way without doing any extra steps. I'm going to grab this one. I'm just going to make it bigger. And again, I'm going to do the same thing and send it backwards. I'm going to show you a very cool thing that Canva's done for us. We can go to position and there is a layers panel and I can now select that so that I can move it. And before it was a little difficult to move. So I think I want it all the way over because I think that one's going to look good. And then I'm going to click out of it. I need to cover up the entire rest of this with 
that same brown color. Before, I would have used shapes, but I'm no longer going to use shapes. I'm going to use a new feature called Draw. And Draw is over here on the left-hand side. And so I'm going to select a marker. I'm going to choose the color. And then I'm going to choose that same color that's within this image. I'm going to select the drawing settings and I'm going to increase the weight. Now, because I think I'm going to need a fairly thick marker for this, I'm just going to go ahead and increase it. And that will work just fine. And what I'm going to do is just cover up all of the blue. I'm going to cover up all of the excess. Oh, I just made a mistake. You want to be careful not to cover up any part of this or, like I said, mistakes. I know what I need to do. I need to decrease my weight here. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing down here. And then I'm going to go back and increase this and cover the whole thing up except for the silhouette. I'm just using my mouse. You can also do this on your mobile device if you want. You can really get a good idea of what your silhouette is going to look like. And I think that looks great. What I need to do now is download this a second time. We'll do the same thing where we download it and we choose the page that we want, which is page three. No transparent background. We want it just like this. What you're going to want to do is upload that file into your either uploads tab or directly into a folder. And so that's what I've done here. What we're going to do is remove the background again. It started off like this and I changed it to that. All right. Now, what if you decide you want something different back there? Well, it's super simple. You go to this one, the one with a bunch of drawing on top. You grab something different. What if you want it to be, um, what, you, what is this, sprinkles? Let's go to position. I'm going to go to layers, and then I'm just going to take this down a few layers all the way below that layer. So then now it sprinkles. What if we want it to be a video? Now, video might be a little difficult to pull something out of. I've actually not tried videos, so let's see if I can actually do a video because that would be pretty amazing. What if we do this one? Well, again, make it as big as it needs to be. I'm actually going to crop it so the video isn't that long. And now, again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take this layer and bring it all the way down. If I need to, I can take it and just move it a little bit. And we're just going to test to see if this would work with video as well. Now that there is a background remover in the video page, really helps to select the video. Here we go. And of course, the same thing, you would upload this back into your Canva. Now let's see if edit video. So now I can try it. Let's, I don't know if this is going to work. And it's going to take a little bit of time because it's never removed the background of this video before. So because of that, I'll be back. Oh, maybe it's going to take quicker than I think. Look, y'all, it worked. It worked. Can y'all believe it? That, that actually worked. So yeah, you can put video back there too. Wow. You're, for best practices, for the best chance of it working, make sure that your background's white. Make sure that your silhouette or whatever it is is white. And then use a brown color. And like I mentioned, I just typed in brown. And then for my search, this woodland elk was near the top. And I just selected that one. Give it a go. Let me know if it works for you. If you like today's tutorial and want to see more like it, make sure that you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. You can click into this video right here too. Bye.